Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and the other day I demonstrated multitasking gestures on my iPad 2. And I also said if you guys want to see it, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a video on it. Well, I decided not to do it on my main channel, so I'm doing it here. So this is the tutorial for how to enable multitasking gestures on either your first gen or second gen iPad. So I have the first iPad right here, and the reason why I'm doing it on this one is because I actually am recording this with my iPad too. So first of all, I'm going to go into the settings application, and now I'm going to show you guys that I am on iOS 4.3. So for version there, it is on 4.3 and also uh, to actually enable multitasking gestures it is right here inside of the uh, settings general uh, area so it actually should be right about there once we enable it but it's not there at the moment also we will get something called developer that is over here in this side column so just keep that in mind uh, you also do have to have a Mac to do this so I do have my Mac side here on my PC and if you do not have Mac OS X on your PC I will include a link to my video tutorial down below in the more info that shows you guys how to get OS on your PC. So then what you're going to have to do after you've done that is you're going to have to plug it in. Alright, so here we go. It is plugged in as you can see right there. And I have a prompt in iTunes saying that it is plugged in. And I do not want to do that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to download and install Xcode. Now I will have a link down below in the more info for you guys to get Xcode from Apple. You can also go ahead and get it inside of the Mac App Store if you want. And I believe it's something like $5.99. Uh, or you can actually just follow the link that I have actually put down there in the more info that will redirect you to a place where you can download Xcode. Once you have Xcode downloaded and installed, just be sure to open it up and again make sure that your device is plugged in. Now uh, just give it some time there and it will automatically recognize that your device is plugged in and as you can see there it says iPad. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just click on that button where it says use for development right there and uh, it will come up with a prompt saying I need to log in. You don't need to log in. Just go ahead and click cancel and from there on out you will be fine. Now you're just going to go straight back to your uh, device here and then what you're going to do is go inside of the settings application and as you can see I do have multitasking gestures now right where I said it would be which again is below the orientation lock and I also have something called a developer there and I can enable power logging as well which again is for developers but now I do have multitasking gestures on this iPad and as you can see they work hundred percent so I'm just going to demonstrate them quickly and there we go uh, this does have multitasking gestures now keep in mind that this only works for the iPad and it also works for the iPad 2 as well but outside of that it does not work for the iPhone 4 or the iPod touch fourth generation or any other iPhone or iPod touch so keep that in mind it only works on the iPad first generation and the iPad 2 so I hope you guys like this video please remember to rate it up let me know what you think down below in the comment section and be sure to hit subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and again sorry for the shakiness but I am uh, recording this on my iPad 2 so until next time this is ICU signing out